Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Nate Eaton outside the Ada County Courthouse on a lunch break from the Lori Vallow Daybell trial. Some big news out of the testimony this morning. The medical examiner has been on the stand most of the morning talking about JJ and Tylee, their autopsies that were done, what was found uh, as they did these autopsies. And he determined and announced that JJ died from asphyxiation from a plastic bag and duct tape over his mouth. We knew that JJ was wrapped in plastic and buried in Chad Daybell's backyard. We did not know specifically how he died, whether he was drugged or shot or whatever other manners there will be. But the medical examiner just said moments ago that JJ Vallow died as a plastic bag was he asphyxiation from a plastic bag and duct tape over his mouth. Uh, the toxology report showed some normal levels of uh, substances uh, that would be found in, in a normal body. It sounds like uh, there was one substance, I, I, I believe it's called GHP, that was found in his system, but the body could naturally produce it. But basically, he said, that could be something, but, but it likely is not. Now, Tylee, before lunch, 10 minutes ago, the medical examiner announced that she died from homicide, but no exact way. She died of a homicide, but they don't know the exact how she died due to the homicide. So it's been a really heavy day here in the courtroom. Autopsy photos were shown. When I say autopsy photos, I mean something like 30 or so autopsy photos. They were not shown to the public. Uh, Rob Wood, the prosecutor, wanted to show the pictures. The defense objected, said that it was too prejudicial. Boyce overruled them. And then the defense asked if they could be shown in black and white. The defense, or uh, Boyce then met with all of the attorneys and the decision was made to show the pictures to the jurors on monitors that are in front of them. The judge also has a monitor. The defense has a monitor that Lori can see and the prosecution has a monitor. So they decided that they would show those images on the monitors, but not to the public. So all the monitors were turned around so we could not see. We still heard descriptions of the autopsy photos and, and they were quite, quite graphic and detailed down to the duct tape that was over his mouth and ankles and things like that, but we did not see the images. One juror in particular was incredibly affected by this. I could, I could tell she was looking up. She was uh, rubbing her finger on her lips. She was looking down. She was looking to the side and she started to dab tears from her eyes. A young woman, probably in her thirties, maybe lower forties, uh, was clearly affected by these images. And then um, Lori also appeared to be affected by this. She was dabbing her eyes. She appeared to be crying. She did not look at the monitor. I did see her look at the monitor once. She glanced over and then turned back. She put her back to the monitor and she took notes in a notepad, which is routinely what she does. She often is taking notes. So those are the major headlines from this morning's testimony. J.J. Vallow died from asphyxiation due to a plastic bag and duct tape over his head and mouth. Tylee Ryan died due to homicide. And the medical examiner will be back on the stand after lunch around one o'clock. And uh, the, the prosecution will continue questioning as will the defense. So if you wanna read through all the updates, they're on eastidahonews.com. Also tonight at 7.30 Mountain, I hope you'll tune in. We'll go through all of this, talk about what happened in court today, play some of the audio clips. Uh, that we can and uh, we'll stay tuned. I'm going to have lunch. Appreciate you watching. We'll catch up later.